Okay, we're having a look at the at the um, Affinity Photo Workbook. Now, the workbook is designed for the desktop, but what I'm going to do is work through as much of the workbook as I can on the iPad. Now, what we've got on the screen at the moment is a directory with all the files that I downloaded from the resources directory that's shown in the book under Before You Get Started, which I believe is... Chapter 2. Um, I'm not going through all the basic setup and all that kind of thing, because if you've got this, you probably know that by now, and that's available everywhere. Well, the first thing in Chapter 2 is developing raw images. Now, the you can see the directory here, developing raw images. And in the developing raw images directory, we've got exposure adjustment, advanced adjustment, adjustment and tonal adjustment. Well, the first one I'm going to use is the Developing Raw Images. Now, this is page 89 of the workbook, and it's that one there. Now, we'll just click on Done for that. I can just hide that in the background for the moment. We don't need that. And I'll open Photo. Now, to get that file in, it's New, Import from the Cloud, Import from Photos, New Stack, New Focus Merge, New H, Open from the Cloud, New from Clipboard, New Document. Well, let's see if we can open it with New Document. No, it's not that one. So let's cancel that. Let's import from the cloud. Aha, and there we go. Developing raw images. Now the exposure adjustment, and you can see it hasn't got a little cloud in the corner. Where do I find my pencil? It hasn't got that little cloud in the corner. Somewhere here I've got a pencil. And it's loading it in. And there it is. File, open to load, exposure adjustment, and it says ORF. Now that's some kind of a raw file. Drag the exposure slider to the right to lighten the image and left to darken it. Basic Studio, Lens Studio, Details, Tone Studio, Metadata, Overlays, Navigator and History. So which one of those do you suppose it is? Is it the Basic Studio? Is it the lens, the details, the tones? Let's have a look at the first one. Exposure. Drag the exposure slider to the right to lighten the image. There's our exposure. Drag it to the right to lighten it. You can bleach it right out. Or you can drag it to the left, down past. You can see there's a, a zero happening there somewhere. I'll show you how to fine tune that. That's darken it right down. It's darkened it a little bit. Now, if you tap the numbers, that's zero. On the context toolbar, click develop, and that's down the bottom here. So we'll click that to get it out the way. We'll click on develop, and it, the photo is now developed. And that's committed the changes and developed the image. Just like a real photograph where you had to send it to the for, for photographic house and have it developed, a raw image is in fact very similar. Think of a raw image as the negative or transparency that you got from the old cameras. Everything you need is in that photo to either lighten it, darken it, or whatever. Now... Down the bottom here, you've got the left and right arrows showing, and that's undo or redo, but I won't do that at the moment. Now, we don't want to do anything more to that, so we can save a copy, export it, or export and save um, a copy to the uh, photo, uh, Apple Photo 
um, section. Now I don't want to do any of that. That was just to show you how to load the picture, adjust the exposure, develop it, and so on. That was undo, and that was undo, but it's not undoing anything. That's a developed photo, so you can't, in theory, adjust that anymore. And you can see up the top here, it's no longer showing it as a raw file. What does it say about here in that? Histogram marked to Olympus. Exposure mode, auto exposure. You can see the detail of it, and the metadata. Okay, we'll hide that. We'll go out there, go back to... exposure adjustment and you can see it's an RGB 16-bit film now. I'll leave that there for the moment. That's as simple as it is for this first little step in the book.